Greetings, folks. Today on this episode of the Radio Shop, we're going to be redoing this Bendix console, 1949. Number 79, 7MU is the model. It is an AM, FM with phonograph record changer on it. It is 33 and 78 because it has fast and slow on the uh, knob instead of the speed, you know, instead of the number speeds, it's fast and slow. It's dirty, dusty, the door is missing, but the cabinet hardware is here, with the exception of the screws that hold on the hinges. This has seen better days. The cabinet has seen better days. It's scuffed up here and there and a little bit there, but not too terribly bad. A few plant rings on top. But we're going to uh, Take her apart, redo her, and go from there in this episode of Radio Shop. Stand by. So in this Bendix console that I'm working on, it has two chassis, a power supply chassis, which I've pulled the 5Y3 tube out, and the radio amplifier chassis over here on this side. So there's the connection to the power supply chassis right there. There's the transformer. As I say, the rectifier tube is there. It is an octal 5Y3. The record player, which I believe is a VM, if I recall. I've worked on one of these before, and I believe I recall it was a VM, early VM changer. But I could be wrong. I'll check it out. Oops, sorry, my arm was itching. I'll check it out and go from there. Somebody had placed a back of a different radio as the AM antenna on this piece. It was screwed to the back here onto the cardboard back. Here's your record storage or just any other kind of storage. And then the speaker was not hooked up at all. So from there, I believe, come the speaker wires down. Yep, there's the speaker wires right there. A little bit dusty, a little bit dirty. We'll see what we get into. This Bendix 79MU7 from 1949 has two chassis. It has power chassis and the radio and amplifier chassis. Somebody's done a little bit of work in here because there are some replacement capacitors already in here. The rest of them are the original it appears or close to the original or was replaced a long time ago when they were still putting wax paper in into these plastic jobbies. So we're going to see what we need in order to replace things. We're going to gather parts. I've already gathered the electrolytics So those are already gathered, and now we're going to gather the rest. Got all my tools gathered here. I'm going to do the main chassis first and the power supply chassis second on this Bendix 79MU7 or 7MU. Whichever version it may be.
So here we are working on this Bendix radio and I have built my new three section electrolytic capacitors on this terminal strip. I'll be soldering it together, replacing the three terminals down here, leaving the cap in place, removing the wires. I will be drilling a hole and mounting it into the chassis inside. So I'm going to solder these on first because I need to fix a minus wire between here and here so that it will hook up with the minus the negative on the chassis. So we'll get to that in just a few.
This is the record player, the record changer, I should say, out of the Bendix 79 M7U radio. I believe this is a VM. I've worked on one of these before. It's an early VM. It has slow and fast for the speed control, which was 33 and 78. So it was a dual speed changer. We're going to clean it up, send off for a new wheel, idler wheel, and go from there. too complicated of a mechanism but it's kind of dusty and grimy under here too and I've got some hardened grease on this lever screw here. I'm going to wipe all this down, clean it, re-grease it. The motor is not seized up but it sure needs a cleaning. Looks like the rubber grommet motor mounts are completely missing out of this where they should have been. I don't know if some previous person took them out or if they just rotted and fell out. Well, here's one that's partially here. So, yeah, the grommets are completely, motor mount grommets are completely gone on this. There's like one left.
are currently continuing our work on this Bendix Record Player Radio AM FM console. This is a VM800D changer. And we are going to work on the underneath. We've got a new idler wheel from the remanufacturer. And we've got the idler wheel. We've cleaned it up a little bit. I've got to clean it up a little bit more. Looks like there was a cigarette burn right here where somebody laid a cigarette down. The motor does spin. The platter does spin. We need to clean up the grease underneath so that the mechanism can turn. And we will go from there. Voice of Music 800D changer out of the Bendix radio we've been working on. Has a new idler wheel. We lubed up all the changer parts, and strangely enough, the original crystal cartridge in it still works, and that is unheard of, but it still does. We'll show some changer mechanism here in just a second. So here's a look at the Bendix finished 79MU. If you recall from the very beginning of the video, it was all scratched up, the top was scratched up, the door was missing, the handles were corroded. They have now been polished up. And let me turn this down just a little bit because it's a little bit bright on here. Ooh. Too much. It is an AM FM with a record player. Now it's on FM. Much more, much more brittle, much more embedded. They may break in big ways. Now, that being said, they haven't done that yet. And <laughs> The cell's not especially clean, John Levy. Over here was record storage. That might be it. Built-in record player. Santa Fe. 
be the old home rising round the bend. I reckon that she knows she's gonna meet her friend. Folks around these parts get the time of day from the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. Here she comes. Hey, Jim, you better get out the ring. And they all want lifts down to Brown's Hotel Cause lots of them been traveling